Okay, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to try and answer of your question about simplified routing. This video will expand a bit on the previous two videos which were about connecting a Behringer XR18 to Reaper. As always, please like and subscribe. To start, let's take a look at the Behringer XR18 and review a bit from the last video. We'll go ahead and connect the XR18 to the XR Edit. We'll want to click the In Out button on the upper right and then the USB Return button. Loading the Off Analog Preset enables the XR18's mic pre's. For listening to all the tracks individually back from Reaper, you want to load the Channel 1 through 16 preset. That was described in depth on the other videos and I'll link that above now. So doing that allows you to bring all the tracks back from Reaper into the XR18 where you can mix the tracks individually. For one example like you would do for a virtual sound check for a live band. In this case though the viewer wondered about a quick way to just listen to what you just recorded but without necessarily having to mess with the XR18 channel settings. So this is a method to do that. This also works well if you're mixing down in Reaper, but still using the XR18 as your audio interface to your studio monitors or your headphones that you're mixing to. So let's take a look at Reaper now and we'll check out these settings. Mouse over to the master section and click on the routing button. This will bring up a new window. Click in the Add New Hardware drop-down. Choose the line that says 17, Out 17, Out 18. That's all you need to do here and you can X out of this window. All the other settings that we did in the previous videos can be left alone. This one change is all that's needed. Reaper's Master is now getting all the tracks and outputting those tracks, as you can see here. Now we need to take a look at one setting inside the XR Edit. What we're doing is sending the Reaper signal to the XR aux in, which is channel 17 and 18. Select that channel and then select the Input tab at the top of the screen. For the XR to listen to the master bus of Reaper, you just need to make sure the USB is selected underneath channel sort. You can even leave the USB button set on this channel. You can even save this as part of your baseline scene. Bringing the aux in fader up will now send whatever Reaper's playing out of the XR18. The only caveat you need to remember is when you go back to recording, either mute the aux in or bring that fader down. You do not want to leave that up when you go back into record mode. If you then later want to bring all your tracks from Reaper back into the 16 individual channels of the Behringer XR18, then just refer back to the first part of this video where we went through the USB returns on the XR18. And of course, make sure at that point to leave the XR18 aux in channel 17 and 18 muted or the fader down. You don't want both sources of inputs at the same time. All right, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.